So it's 2022 and Adidas has released a bunch of different 4D technology sneakers. That is the one with the 3D printed midsole in collaboration with Carbon. And there's so many of them on the market now. I have quite a few of them in my collection as you guys can see here. But in this video I wanted to go ahead and cover the brand new version. And that is the Adidas 4D Forward 2. So the first version came out in 2021. And it was a really big upgrade to all of the other 4D technology sneakers. By far the most comfortable pair of all of the 4D technology shoes that I've tried. And again, I've tried at least six or seven of them. Uh, then after that, we did get the Adidas Ultra 4D Forward that I just did a review on as well. You can check my channel. And this is a really fun version as well because this is obviously themed after the Adidas Ultra Boost upper with the Adidas Ultra Boost cage. And I really like that version as well. And then now Adidas has released another version, uh, the 4D Forward 2s. So I wanted to give you guys kind of a look at the shoe, give you guys a comparison from the first version and the second one and show you about eight differences, very subtle differences, but differences and three things that are similar between the two models. And let's go ahead and get right into the video. So these shoes were sent over to me by Adidas. Big shout out to Adidas for sponsoring this video. If you guys enjoy the content uh, from Adidas on this channel, it is much appreciated if you guys hit the like button. Also, if you ever want to buy any of the sneakers that are displayed in the videos, check the links in the description. It'll take you to Adidas website. You can purchase the sneakers or pretty much anything off of their website with my link. And then I do get a little bit of a kickback, but it lets Adidas know that you guys really like the channel. And I greatly, greatly appreciate all of you guys' efforts. As soon as I saw images of these, I was very interested in these because obviously the midsole is the primary focus the 40 forward midsole and this being the second version i wanted to see what the differences were between the first and the second before we start off with the similarities and differences i'll go ahead and show you guys the description of what adidas says about the product innovation that keeps you moving forward adidas 40 forward 2 redefines forward motion combining the unique groundbreaking innovation of a 3d printed midsole with a new upper construction and a continental outsole for extra grip. With every stride, the Adidas 40 Forward 2 midsole compresses forward, reducing braking forces and transforming the impact energy into a forward motion. The result is a smooth ride with less stop and go pounding on pavement. The continental grippy rubber outsole provides traction on wet and dry surfaces to keep you going in all conditions. And the Adidas Prime Knit Plus upper wraps the foot with a new fit that enhances movement. Made of a series of recycled materials, the upper features at least 50% recycled content. This product represents just one of our solutions to help end plastic waste. And there's about 39 reviews on Adidas website, all giving it about a 4.8 in summary, and then 97% of the customers recommend the product. Sizing is true to size and width is perfect as well. And it says it's a comfortable and quality pair of sneakers, which I would definitely agree with. It's definitely a sleeper pair uh, amongst everything out there. I really think that the 4D technology has come a long way. And the fact that they're 3D printing this stuff is pretty incredible. Now, if they use a softer material, I'm sure they can make these much, much softer. And I'm sure there's a lot of trial and error and durability tests and stuff, uh, depending on how firm everything is. Obviously you need it to be durable if you're gonna be running around a lot in these. And actually I wanna give these a, a go. Since I've been running every day now, I haven't ran in these ones yet, but I have walked a lot in them. And it's a really comfortable pair of sneakers. Obviously what we kind of already knew from the previous version. So if you haven't seen my previous videos, go check those out. It's definitely the best of the 4D technology once again. And I really like the Futurecraft model. I think it looks great. I like the Ultra 4D. I think that one looks great as well. But if you're looking for a more comfortable ride from casual to running, this is definitely the one to go with. Now this is not a light pair of sneakers. This is quite heavy. And if you're looking for something light, Adidas has this other technology that's really, really impressive. And that is the Light Strike Pro technology. This is the Adi Zero Adios Pro 2. I do have a couple different really high-end running sneakers from Adidas because they make incredible stuff. I'm still begging Adidas, please make a Light Strike Pro uh, running sneaker like a wide body in the back and I promise you guys there'll be a huge consumer base of casual wares as well as runners that would appreciate that for the width uh, of being a little bit bigger because they make really incredible stuff this stuff the light Strike pro is softer and squishier on feet than adidas ultra boost any which way 
40 technology, this is the best of what it gets. And then there are a couple differences between uh, these two models. Now, the similarities I'll just get into first because they're pretty simple. There's only three that I could spot between the two. The first one, obviously the 3D printed midsole. It has the same exact midsole as the predecessor, which is a good thing because honestly, they really nailed this one. The 40 technology is done well. It has so much extra on the heel. You definitely feel like a little bit of a, a forward motion with the uh, 40 forward because of that heel squish and how the columns kind of react to it. The other thing that is similar between both of the models is the tongue shape. Now it's pretty much the same as the first version. It is an attached tongue sock like fit like they say. They definitely want you to have some stability in the shoe and having that sock like fit on that tongue makes it so you can have the most stable uh, ride. But all three of these versions do have a snug fit across the tongue, which means on the top of my foot, it's a little bit more snug than I would prefer. But honestly, it makes sense because it helps lock your foot in. And the third similarity between the two pairs that I found is just this little heel strip on the back. It has the same shape uh, up and down where it kind of brings the shoe together. Uh, and it has that 40 forward logo just in two different locations. Now to get into the differences between these two shoes, the biggest one being the outsole traction of the shoe. As they already mentioned, they added the continental rubber to the outsole. So it will have improved traction over the previous version. And I think that's kind of a, a nice a step in the right direction. Anytime you have continental added, uh, they'll have a little bit more grip action going on there. The next update was done to the upper material of the shoe. You see the regular primate on the other one. It said it's primate plus on the new version, which Honestly, it's kind of like a prime knit, but it looks like an engineered mesh just done in a little bit more of a fancy way. And then you do have fused overlays over top on the second version that you don't have on the first version. So that is the third difference between the two is that you have uh, different fused overlays on the back of the heel and then also runs all the way down across the toe box of the shoe and then up around the other side. It looks really cool. It's a nice aesthetic to the shoe. It's something that they could play with with different colors. And I like that they added it in. The next change they did around the laces, well, it's pretty Pretty simple but in this colorway they added a piping around the laces but also for the top lace eyelet here you could see that they decided to do a hard plastic uh, lace instead and then also the laces are just integrated through the fusing material on the second version the first version used like a nylon loop that held down all of the laces and those have been removed for the direct integration within the uh, fused material next change is the heel the heel has definitely changed quite a bit it's actually a little bit more plush and comfortable and it does kind of flare out a little bit more than the first version the first version was just all prime knit all the way up knit material but this one does have a little bit of a flare up as I said but it's also a plush liner in the back as well so your heel and the inside of the shoe right here has a nice plush liner previously it didn't have that it's a very small but again welcome change another small change is the fused tongue logo the Adidas logo is a little bit longer and narrower on the new version. It's smaller and like more rectangular on the first version. And the last subtle difference between the two is the Adidas logo on the front has the Adidas name underneath the logo. And then the new pair just has the logo, no name. So some very minor changes from the first to the second version, but honestly, I kind of like that they do these subtle different uh, versions of the sneakers. I personally would like to have a detached tongue on a version. That would be some improvement that I would want to add to the shoe. Maybe gusseted or half gusseted or whatever. So it's like attached down here and then detached to the top. But honestly, I like the changes of the upper of this one. It has a little bit more variety for colorways than the pure knit upper does on the previous version. So I uh, always welcome changes like that. And I like that it has more padding across the heel. It would be nice to have that also on the tongue, reverse side of the tongue. And then I like that they added the continental rubber on the bottom as well. But those are the subtle changes and updates that I saw on this shoe. If you guys see any that I didn't point out, please drop a comment and let other people know. This is just my uh, thoughts on what I saw. And if you guys want to buy a pair of these or the old pair, because you could probably get the older ones on sale. Uh, if you guys are interested in buying them, check the links in the description as well as with the Ultra 40 forward. But appreciate Adidas for sponsoring the video. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And uh, this is a fun one. Do you guys like these? Have you tried them? I mean, they're kind of expensive, $200 price point, but it's crazy to be able to see these 3D printed midsoles still. And it's been out for what is it like three, four, five years already? And it's like, it's such a fun, just different looking pair of sneakers. So I'm always happy to see that Adidas is bringing forward motion to a, a nice product like this. And it's been fun to be able to get a pair and review for you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Have a good rest of the day. Check back for some more sneaker content. And thanks for watching. See you guys.